What's up YouTube and welcome back to Scorcher's Lounge and today we're going to be doing a review of the Air Jordan 10 Bulls over Broadway. So let's take a look at this box. This is an all black generic box with your gold logo Jumpman right there, right here and in the front you got the 23 and you also got the label. Label reads Air Jordan 10 Retro. 30th anniversary edition that's what the 30th mean gym red black wolf gray size 11 my size star code is 705 178 color code 601 for retail price of hundred and ninety dollars so let's flip this lid got my receipt right here from city blue so that's what's up and yo this don't look good but before I get into the sneaker don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's go to the intro Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know we was back already. Okay, so Let's do this There goes one shoe There goes another shoe And that's it Put that box over there. All right, so very simple shoe <laughs> So let's get to it. However, there's a little story behind this. So Back in 2014, Jordan has launched the Jordan Remastered series. So when that happened, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture, but I do remember some off the top of my head. When that happened, we got the, jo so basically the point of the Jordan Remastered series was that they were hearing our complaints of all the bad quality and stuff like that. So to charge us, wink wink to charge us i believe like an extra 20 bucks there was an extra 20 bucks who remembers the let me look at these prices real quick hold on so that's around that era yeah i think it was about to charge us 20 bucks i think it was like 160 170 right so for another 20 dollars the remastered um jordan program whatever they wanted to call it <clears throat> the remastered series was that they're gonna put better quality on the new shoes yo and they did I actually have a few of them matter of fact I have a pair right here these Jordan 4 Oreos I just wore them the other day but these Jordan 4 Oreos yo quality good but um they came out with the Jordan 4 Oreos the Jordan 4 Columbia or Legend Blue, whoever, uh, it depends on how you want to call it. The Jordan 7 French Blue. The Jordan 10 Bulls Over Broadway. There was a few that released. I'm going to see if I can find a picture, like I said. And the quality is good. Like, I'm not going to lie. But it didn't last. I mean, you're talking about three months of this. And then, you know, they, they kind of like forgot. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, we got everybody in. We got everybody in now to buy it at the brand new price of $190, right? So now that we're in it at $190 and we're like, yo, we are good quality. You know what I mean? They already got us in. So that's what they wanted to do and it worked. <laughs> but, um, so that's behind that. Also, it's the 30th anniversary. So 85 to 2015 will be 30 years of the Jordan brand and he decided to make this 
Now, the reason of this colorway exactly, matter of fact, hold on, let, let me get into that in a second. So let's start with the bottom because the Jordan 10, the bottom of the Jordan 10 is very interesting and I'll tell you why. So when we get to the bottom, you're gonna have an all gray and black stripe bottom with the red Jordan logo right there. But let's go, let's go read every stripe that you see on the bottom. Let's start from the bottom up, all right? Starting from the bottom, each line is gonna represent an accomplishment in that year. So, in 1985, Rookie of the Year. In 1986, 63 points was his career high. In eight, 1987, he won his first scoring title. In 1988, he's the dunk champion. In 1989, All-Defense Team. 1990, scored 69 points. 1991, MVP and Championship. 1992 MVP and Championship, 1993 MVP Championship, and 1994 it says beyond because he retired for the first time, and they were gonna continue on with the Jordan line. They just they, they just didn't uh, so they were gonna continue on with the Jordan line, and then if you back up, you can see that it has one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lines, which also represents the Jordan 10 and all his accomplishments. So back then, making shoes, it was about almost two years in the making. So when he retired, he retired in the Jordan 8s. So he won his first championship in the Jordan 6, his seven, I mean his second in the Jordan 7, and his eight, ah, his third in the Jordan 8. The Jordan 9 was already made. They was already working on the Jordan 10. But he retired. So then they're like, well, we made it. We're still going to release it. So the whole point of this shoe is to pay homage to Jordan by putting all his accolades right here, year by year, starting from the bottom of the heel of the foot all the way to the tip when he retired. 94 was, he never played, right? So 94 says beyond because they were continuing on with the Jordan brand. So that was the whole point of the Jordan 10. Then when we get to the midsole, it's all red. The overlay, all red. Very basic shoe. Quality on the on the red on the red leather is pretty good. It's pretty good quality. It's like a good leather, but it's also not it's also not coated. So it's like a dry, I don't even know if this makes any sense, but it's like a dry leather. <laughs> it's not like a coated leather. So um <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that makes any sense, but for some people who might understand, thank you. <laughs> But um, then we have everything black right here on the eyelets. It's leather. And then the back heel of the tip of the heel is also leather. This is big, thick rope laces. So the whole point of the rope laces is the, you know, when you win the championship, you break, you cut down the net. So the Jordan 10, the Jordan 11, both have big rope laces representing like the championship net. Then... When you get to the tip of the tongue, it says Air Jordan 23 in the black leather. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that in the back of the tongue, you have this real cool retro looking patch. And it says Air Jordan Collection right there on both, on both of them, on both tongues in the back. So you got the black Jordan logo right here. And then in the insole, like I said earlier, oh yeah, these are glued down, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. These are glued down real tight, not like now. But when you get to the insole, it has the 30th with a little logo there, which is 30th anniversary. Then you got an all black pool tab right here in the back. So now let's go to the history of the, sh of the point of the shoe and the nickname Bulls over Broadway. So he's a Chicago Bull, right? And that's what he's known for, but New York is his like home. He loves New York. He loves, loves, loves New York. And he also beat the Knicks a million times. So he was trying to make a shoe 
where he's showing love to both, but also letting people know, like, yo, Chicago all the way. So the whole upper is in red and black, which is basically the bull's colors. However, the bottom, oh, I forgot to mention, the side of the outsole, so not the midsole, but right here, little bit right there, you're gonna see speckled black and red dots, right? But the bottom itself does not have any speckle. It's just the side of the outsole. So basically, it's supposed to represent of the Chicago Bulls up top and the New York City concrete streets in the bottom. So you get it? You got Bulls over Broadway. So Broadway can have two meanings. In New York and in Chicago, Broadway plays are it. Like, they're like the jam. It's like Broadway in Chicago and New York is a real big thing. You could go that route or Broadway Avenue, you know what I'm saying? In New York, Broadway, like 37th and Broadway, for example, or where Madison Square Garden at? Ain't that in Broadway? Hold on. No, it's not. I thought it was gonna be like, for example, 34, 34 Broadway, cause that would've been hot too. But basically, um, Broadway Avenue is a major, major avenue in New York. So Bulls over Broadway, you get what I'm saying? New York, Broadway, the concrete streets, you know what I'm saying? And then Bulls on top with the red and black. So that's today's little history lesson of the Jordan 10 Bulls over Broadway. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it as well. Remember, Scorchers underscore lounge and all my socials if you want to reach out. And until next time, loungers. Peace out.